Hi, my name is Saskia and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had an amazing new year and that so far 2019 is treating you incredibly. I'm sorry that it's been such a long gap between my last video. As I said in that video that I actually wanted to start doing a revamp for my channel. So the last couple of months I've actually been filming new videos, new content, editing them so that I'm going to be able to update more regularly and give you guys better content basically. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess today is kind of that start up. Yeah. <laughs> today we're going to be talking about students. But more specifically I want to look at student stereotypes. So there are a lot of stereotypes I think in society nowadays about students and who they are, what they do and what they represent. But my interest is actually to what extent are they true or not. So today I'm going to be looking at student stereotypes and deciding whether they're true or not, in my opinion. But before we do that, in my student ways of writing essays, I think it's important to define the terms. <laughs> so what is a stereotype? A stereotype is a widely held but fixed and oversimplified image or idea of a particular type of person or thing. So yeah, let's see if we have got an oversimplified image that's fixed about students or not. <laughs> Number one. All students are drinkers and like to go partying. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I think it's a spectrum kind of thing. There are people at uni that love to go out and love to drink and get drunk a lot and go out a lot. I have a lot of friends that like going out. But for me personally, I don't really go out that much and there is definitely a large number of students that don't as well. So I think it's a massive, it's quite a big spectrum from people that do go out loads and drink a lot and go off and do their own thing. And there's also people that don't really like to do that and don't really drink. And that's fine, and it's not really a problem. So I think it's kind of, that is part of uni culture, but it's also like not a compulsory part of it. Um, for me personally, I'm kind of on the spectrum of not really drinking that much. Like I went out in first year a few times, went clubbing, but it wasn't the greatest experience for my ears particularly. Um, I had fun, I'm not gonna lie, I had fun, but it was more for my being with my friends than anything. I guess that was kind of like a 50-50, it is true, but it isn't true. A smexy number two. <laughs> Lots of students go on gap years. I didn't go on a gap year before I went to uni personally. I went straight into education, or higher education. Um, but I do know people who did go on it. My sister went actually went on gap year to Mexico before she went to uni for the first time. So some people do, some people don't, but it's not a stereotype that everyone's done it. Like I tend to find more often than not students actually don't go on gap years just because it's so expensive and also like it just takes up so much time going on them. So yeah, I would say that's again partially true but partially not. I think like a lot of these stereotypes so far have been built upon these actually do happen but like they've been escalated quite a lot so it's interesting. Oh, there was a stereotype that was like all like um, gap year students have those like floofy trouser things that are like the poofy pantalon and Aladdin trousers. That I would say is true. <laughs> that is a stereotype of students. I definitely have some like that. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Students are lazy and spend their time sleeping. I like my sleep, I'm not gonna lie, but I do my work. So <laughs> I think the, the, where this comes from is the fact that actually in university, depending on your like degree, there's a lot less structure to your day than there is at school. Like you go from school having like eight o'clock in the morning to about four o'clock in the afternoon, it's probably timed out for you. You have to time, it's timetabled, you do everything as it says, as it's made I guess but when you come to uni there's a lot less structure so for me personally this term I've only got four hours a week which I know is insane but that means then that apart from the first couple of days in the week I've got pretty much three days which means that I need to actually manage my timetable a lot more and so I think that kind of brings about this stereotype of laziness just because we haven't got a structured timetable like you have at work or you have at school 
That doesn't mean you're lazy, it just means that you have your own timetable. I at the moment have three essays and my dissertation and I'm doing all of them and I'm working on all of them. Students come to uni because they want to study, they want to learn, they want to do more and they want to put effort into it. And so yeah, I think that's one stereotype I can definitely say is not true. Number four. Students have it easy. This one bugs me like so badly because my parents say this as well. Like a lot of people I know say this. Here's some like student truth. Students don't have it easy, trust me. Like we have so much work to do in general. Like, we have a lot of deadlines. And to build on that, we have we spend so much and we have so much debt after uni that there's so much pressure that you have to do well, otherwise it's kind of like a waste of money. And then on top of that, like a lot of universities don't actually have as much support. In terms of your academics, they have support that you need. But in terms of your emotional care, it's very difficult to actually get that support. I don't know why, like my university, for example, um, they only have like six or seven counsellors for their entire university which is insane and I think that is a problem that comes about but like people think okay because she just haven't got to like work they haven't got to pay taxes and stuff like that you know they don't have they don't have that difficulty it's not true like students do have to work students do have to put time and effort into things but, like mental health goes down so badly at uni because all this pressure on society people think that like, there's not this pressure and it's really not true and I think like that stereotype of students have it easy is just so badly like incorrect. I don't think there's any student I would talk to that said like that would say like yeah we have it easy to be honest and I think that's one of my biggest pet peeves student stereotypes. Um, well, I've got really steely thread right there. <laughs> I think mostly because of the stereotype I've actually come across myself, and I've had people not even who know me say this, like, "Oh, you need the best years of your life because you know how to be easy. You haven't got to go to the real world." What even is the real world? That's my question. I don't personally think that there's any difference between like uni and the real world. Like, I still have to pay rent. I have to pay bills. If I vote. I, I stick with politics. There's this massive misconception between university being cut off from the real world. And I think that's where it comes to this stereotype. Like students have it easy because people think that we're cut off. And it's not true. Like I think if anything, students get the most affected by it because they don't really have that much of a voice. But yeah. I would say that that stereotype is completely false. I, I don't think students have it easy at all. Snexy number five. I mean, Dad is like 10, but I'm five. <laughs> students are cheap slash don't know how to spend money. Okay, so I think with that, if students see these for free, they're like, yeah, let's go for it. But let's be honest, like most people in the planet are like, oh, free stuff, let's get it. So I wouldn't necessarily think, say that's just like a stereotype for solely students. A lot of people do that and have those thoughts and feelings towards free stuff. Students will spend less on like stuff, particularly like groceries, stuff like that. Like you see, you'll see more students dropping like Aldi and Lidl than M&S, for example. They're just because like student loans, stuff like that, doesn't always cover going to places that are um, like more expensive. I would say yeah it's true in the sense of students do spend less on particular things than would every day but it's also out of like the necessity of budgeting. Often enough the loan isn't always enough. So yeah I would say stereotype to an extent is true but I think out of necessity rather than we all want to be cheap. <laughs> Are the main stereotypes we're talking about today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and say down in the comments below, and I will help to edit my content around what you guys like. Thank you so much for being really uh, patient and waiting for me to come back. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing week. And I'll see you next week. Ba ba ba. I don't know the words to the rest of the song. Thank you.